guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Engineer Ella and for today, I will be answering the question of the night number four that I posted last May 16 on my Facebook page. So this is about strength of materials. A hollow right circular cylinder is made of cast iron and has an outside diameter of 75 millimeters and an inside diameter of 60 millimeters. If the cylinder is loaded by an actual compressive force of 50 kilonewton, Determine the total shortening in a 600 millimeter length. Assume E is equal to 100 gigapascals. So um, for this problem, we are going to use the concept of modulus L of elasticity. So the modulus of elasticity, guys, it's the quantity that measures the resistance of an object or substance to being deformed elastically when stress is applied to it. Okay, so uh, meron tayong um, figure dito that shows um, the modulus of elasticity, which is yung E. So, iba-iba siya per material. So, iba yung for steel, for plastic, for rubber, and for other um, materials. So, um, we have three basic types of modulus of elasticity. So, meron tayong Young's modulus. We also have shear modulus or modulus of rigidity and bulk modulus. But uh, for this specific kind of problem, we are going to use the Young's modulus. And that is defined as the tendency of an object to deform along an axis when opposing forces are applied along that axis. So gagamitin natin yung concept ng Hooke's law, which states that the stress, uh, which states that um, E or the modulus of elasticity is equal to the ratio of the stress over strain. So, ito siya, ito yung stress and ito yung strain. As you can see, ito yun, yung ratio na yan, yan yung E natin. Okay? So, um, yung stress, we know that um, the formula for that is P over A and yung strain, that's elongation over the total length. So, we know that... Um, for this specific kind of problem, ito yung gagamitin natin because the pressure, kung mabasahin nyo, the pressure is applied, okay, in one axis. No? So, actual compressive force, meron tayong compressive force. So, for example, um, here, ayan. So, let's call that P. Ayan, yan yung force na nag act dito sa buong hollow cylinder na to. So if we derive natin um, yung E using um, the formula here, um, it will be E equals yung stress natin is P over A all over yung strain, which is the elongation over the total length. And kapag nirearrange natin yan, magiging PL over yung area and then yung elongation. Okay. So, um, kung mabasaan ulit natin yung problem, meron tayong given na outside diameter okay, and inside diameter. And that's important in calculating the area because isa siyang hollow right circular cylinder. So, ito lang yung kukunin natin na area dyan. Ayan. And may formula tayo dyan. Okay. So, for the length naman, given naman na tayo, 600 millimeters. For pressure, given na rin tayo, yung 50 kilonewtons. And yung elongation, yun actually yung kinukuha natin. No? So ito yung kinukuha natin, tapos given tayo nito, ito, ito, tsaka ito. So madali na lang siya. So plug and play na lang yun, i-rearrange na lang natin yung equation. Okay, so ito na yung um, mga working formula na gagamitin natin. And yun nga, um, if we rearrange this, what will happen is that we will get this formula. Okay, so let's do that. Um, before pala, uh, let's calculate muna yung area. Okay, so to get the area, Ito yung formula natin, pi over 4, tapos yung outer diameter squared minus yung inner diameter squared. 
Okay? So, pi over 4, yung outer diameter natin is 75 millimeters, but we can um, convert that to meters. So, making 0 0.075 meter squared minus yung inner 0 0.06 squared. Ayan. So, if you compute natin yan, magiging sagot is 1.59 times 10 raised to negative 3 square meters. So, ito yung area natin. Okay? So, pwede na natin i-substitute dito. Okay? So, elongation equals P, 50 kilonewtons. So, that will be 50,000 newton. Okay? And the length is 600 millimeter length. But since we are in... Uh, meters, convert natin yan, 0 0.6 meters. And yung area natin, ito na nga, nakuha na natin, 1.59 times 10 raised to negative 3 square meters. And yung E natin, that's 100 gigapascals, but if we convert that to um, pascals, that will be 100 times 10 raised to 9 pascals. And we know that pascals is in newtons per square meter. So with that, we can cancel this, 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 and then this. Okay? And i-plug lang natin to sa calculator. Ang makuha natin na sagot is 1.89 times 10 raised to negative 4 meters. But converting this to... 2 millimeters, ito yung magiging sagot. 0 0.189 millimeters. So, ito yung elongation na mangyayari dito sa hollow right circular cylinder na to kapag nag-apply tayo ng 50 kN force along the axis. Okay? So, that's it guys. I hope you learned something from today's video and Thank you so much for your support sa mga nagsagot. Thank you so much. And abangan nyo yung mga next na questions na ipopost sa Facebook page ko. Yun. So, thank you so much guys and see you on my next video. Bye!